So a big part of Lunchly and their advertising was it being a better for you product. It's the better for you product compared to Lunchables. Lunchables is their main competitor and Lunchly is better for you. Now this is already basically the equivalent of selling a vape and saying that, oh, you should buy my vape because it's better than smoking and marketing vaping as healthier than smoking, even though both of them are bad. This is basically what this is, right? Obviously it's not so extreme, but you get the point. But here's where it gets even worse. Remember, this product is specifically being targeted to children. No, no adult is gonna have this. It's being specifically targeted towards children. Let's say maybe eight to 12 year old kids. These three influencers also have a young audience, so it makes sense as to why this would be marketed towards children. So saying that Lunchly is a better for you product compared to their competitors Lunchables to you know eight to 12 year old kids like children right now, doesn't make sense as Lunchly was released 36 years ago in 1988. So the people who ate Lunchables at the time, you know, in the 90s and 2000s, are now grown adults. Like the kids who ate it at the time are now grown adults. And the popularity of Lunchables has just been declining ever since because people have started realizing that it's just garbage and, you know, Lunchables has lead in it and it's just not a good, you know, thing to have for lunch. Even if a child who ate Lunchables 30 years after it was released in 2018, that was six years ago. If they were 10 in 2018, they're now 16. They're not going to be eating Lunchables right now to this day, right? So the point I'm trying to make here is, is that marketing Lunchly as healthier than Lunchables, the people who had Lunchables at the time are not going to be having Lunchly now. And the people having Lunchables very recently, let's say in the beginning parts of this year, is very unlikely because more, more and more people, more and more parents have started to realize that lunch, Lunchables is just not good to have for lunch. It has lead in it. It's just a terrible thing to have. And again, Lunchables peaked in like the 90s and 2000s. The kids right now in the mid 2020s probably have never even heard of this product to begin with. So marketing Lunchly as better than Lunchables because that's what their whole thing is, right? Like that's the, basically the only defense they have for making Lunchly. It's better than Lunchables. It's healthier than Lunchables. But this doesn't make sense because A, the people who grew up eating Lunchables are now grown adults and are not going to eat that anymore. And B, the kids right now who are the target audience for Lunchly have probably never eaten Lunchables to begin with. They're probably just starting to get into the age where now they're you know, starting to go to school and they probably have never had a Lunchables to begin with. Because again, as I said, it peaked in the 90s and 2000s and more people are starting to realize that it's not good for you. So this makes the healthier for you comparison basically useless because while yeah, it might be healthier for you, Lunchly might be healthier than Lunchables, it's still not healthy. It's like the vaping and smoking thing all over again. Vaping is health, it might be healthier than smoking, but it's still not healthy. And when this comparison basically becomes useless and doesn't really work anymore, Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and KSI are basically just selling kids Lunchables 2.0. It's basically just Lunchables 2.0, but instead of being released in 1988, it's now released in 2024. And yeah, sure, the comparison still stands, but most kids haven't had lunch Lunchables to begin with. So if I was to guess, the number one reason as to why kids are now going to be begging their parents to get Lunchly is not because it's healthier for you or anything, it's because it's made by the three biggest influencers right now, Logan Paul, KSI, and Mr. Beast. Yeah, sure, the parents might see, oh, you know, this is healthier, so I should buy it. But the kids are really, the main reason why they're gonna want to buy it, want to have it, is because it's made by the three biggest influencers that they love. And as we already know, kids are very impressionable, and they don't know better than to trust the people who are selling this stuff to them. Just like Dan Tedium has been saying this entire time. So I hope this video was enlightening, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.